Hey, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to continue my discussion on um, how on um, LGBT related topic, and it has to deal with this topic has to deal with bisexuality. Now, the first part, which was homosexuality, I forgot to mention that you know one of the great um, one of the greatest characters in literature, probably Albus Dumbledore, is homosexual, and you know I give great respect to to him and he despite his sexual orientation he's a great wizard and everything and you know he uh you know JK Rowling when she said announced that he was gay I was like whoa but you know I always thought um well first um it's just like David Yates, the director of the Harry Potter films from film 5 to 8, um, said, it doesn't matter what his sexual orientation is. You mean, I mean, he's powerful, and he's wise, and he's knowledgeable. And once you see, get, once you see you have those things, you accept him for who, that part of him, who he really is. And I've known Dumbledore from the beginning. I've known Dumbledore from the first book and the first movie, but, um, and you know what? When I found his sexual orientation, I was like, oh, well, okay. And, you know, he hasn't done anything that was stereotypically homosexual. And, you know, I just see past that, because I've known him a long time before I knew. But, you know, that ties in with my bisexual topic, but, uh, that, which is, um, that if he had to be from the LGBT community, I would really, in my own way, call him bi. You know, I'd want him to have some sort of difference from any character. I want him to be different in a way, but I want him to be um, what I call half different. Because at school, you know, around my English teacher, Mr. Chipman, I always call gay people um, different people. And he kind of gets it. And, and anyway, um, bisexuality. There are many famous bi's in our history of entertainment in particular. And they include Freddie Mercury from Queen, Madonna, Lady Gaga, and in acting, we have Sir Laurence Olivier. And the thing about bisexuality is that it's... Well, homosexuality is obviously where you're attracted to the same gender, and heterosexuality, you're attracted to the opposite sex, but... And in asexuality, you're not attracted to anyone, but you can't have sex but it's 1.1%, and, you know, it's very rare, but it's, it happens. And, but with bisexuality, um, that's where you're ha what I call half gay slash lesbian and half straight. And, you know, it's an advantage because, you know, you can be attracted to the same sex, but you still have the advantage to have a straight relationship, whether it be domestic partnership or marriage, and you can have children, you know, naturally and with a, someone you love, to have nat naturally have children. I'm not saying homosexuals don't love. I believe they do. And, um, I believe that, um, bi's are, um, are, you know, they're like homosexuals. They're normal people. They're not sinners. And the Bible says that, you know, oh, homosexuals and LGBT people will not inherit, will be one of the many people who will not inherit the kingdom of God kingdom of Christ, kingdom of heaven, kingdom of Jesus, whatever you like to call it, but, um, I don't see anything wrong with loving someone of the same or opposite sex in the case of bisexuality. And, you know, with Dumbledore, the reason I say bi, I would think he would be bisexual, because all my, all the time before I heard he was gay, I always thought he, despite the age difference, I always thought that he and McGonagall like had a thing, you know, and I could, I don't know why, but I could feel it. And in the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we see Dumbledore dancing with Professor McGonagall. But I know that doesn't, that doesn't very, um, that doesn't amount to much. But you know, it's just I feel something between. I see something between them. You know, they're very trustworthy of each other. They're very friendly. And, they act like equals, and and um, I just think that 
many people misunderstand these kind of people, LGBT people, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Uh, and I just don't see the reason why, you know, even bi's can't marry the same sex in most states, particularly here in the South. And I just don't like how it's come to this. And I don't know how people could be so judgmental. And many, and Lady, look at Lady Gaga again, for instance. She's one of my favorite performers, famous favorite singers. She's, she's hot. And she says that she's really in love. She's, she likes women and men, but, you know, she could, you know, she's never been in love with a woman, but she's always been in love with men. And, you know, I think that I've sort of formed in my mind a hypothesis that bi's, sexu bi's um, they, they can, they're more likely, in my opinion, to have a permanent relationship with someone of the opposite sex. Look at Angelina Jolie, and look at a lot of bi's who have gotten married to people of the opposite sex. Angelina Jolie, she's with um, Brad Pitt, has foster children with him, yet naturally born children, three naturally born children. And she's also married, not to women ever, but to men. She's been married twice in straight marriages and is, has a domestic partnership with yet another man. And, you know, I just feel like... For, I researched that they, um... that bi's apparently might have... might find either sex, opposite, or same gender to be one more appealing than the other, or that they just want to... they can choose which they want to be with. And this is also... For, and to you radical Christians, sure, they may have the choice... Sure, they may have the choice of either living with and marrying the same gender or the opposite gender, and you may want them to just marry only the opposite gender, forget their same-sex desires. Well, those desires will not go away. And, you know, ex-gay ministries, they don't, they don't turn people straight. They turn them, I think, pretty much bi. And, you know, I just don't see why they can't be, Christ they can't be Christians and, and who they are at the same time. I don't see why they can't do that. I believe they will inherit the kingdom of God. And you are the hypocrites that Jesus is talking about. Who, are, who say that they're righteous and they're doing this all for righteousness sake, but you're the ones who are unrighteous. Excuse me if you hear a noise, that's my annoying older sister upstairs. From you, If you've seen the Happy New Year video, go and see it if you want to. And um, that's all I have to say about bisexuality, personally, and then we'll move on to part three, transsexuality, hopefully before dinner.